Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Today, let's paint a uh, very uh, famous actress. See, I'm gonna use synthetic brushes for the beginning. The colors I'm using are titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium uh, red hue, a lizard crimson, and ivory black. Hello. Uh, and welcome to my channel, Mervat James, Kuran, Joyce, Christine, Chudari, Michael, Steve, and Richard. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's start painting. I'm gonna make a quick sketch with black and white. I have this image and I have this image too, or black and white image. And I have the image in my screen. Okay, I'm gonna mix the colors here. Make the top, the bottom, the face, the face here. Okay, here. I uh, always uh, look for simple shapes. I see the overall shape. You see this, something like this. Always something simple. Okay. I'm squinting my eyes, even though I don't have nothing. I still squint my eyes because that's the only way that I can, I can have to make this flat and copy just the overall shape. Okay, now the center line around there. And this uh, about the position of the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And just following the normal proportion, the, I mean the classical, the, following the canon. That means from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin in the middle, I'm gonna find the eyes. On top of the eyes, a little bit up. Uh, the eyebrows, from the eyebrows to the bottom of the chin. Just from here to here in the middle is gonna be the nose. And from here to here in the middle is gonna be the mouth on top of this. Okay, from here is adjusting that because this is the common just measurements that uh, we studied. Yes, uh, but from here we have I have to adjust this, this to this face. Okay. You can see here's one eye and here's the other eye. Okay, I'm gonna mix some colors. Start by mixing yellow ochre, camion red, white, a little bit of black to gray down the color. Okay, more than trying to match any color here, I'm just trying to here to see, or let's see a gray version of a skin color. Because when I'm mixing this, I'm not even see this. I don't compare it at all. I'm just trying to create an orange, a grayish, orangey color. Okay, I have one there. I'm going to mix another one here. It's gonna be the same. Yellow ochre, coming red. And white and black, okay? This one is gonna have more black than white. Okay. Hello, uh, Candings, Ip. Balpreet, uh, this is cotton canvas. Jose, hello Jose, hello Dita, hello Lina, how are you? 
Okay, let's start. I'm gonna use a little bit of medium. I have here a uh, linseed oil and turpentine 50 50. Just a little bit. And squint my eyes, and now I'm trying to follow the light. Okay. This image doesn't have too much contrast, but anyway, you can see a difference, a slight difference between light here, light, 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 and light. Okay. Now, by following this light, and at the same time, I'm painting and drawing. It's because I'm trying to copy this with light. Then I'll do the same with the other color for the shadows. I'm going to change this color and add in more red, more black and white. You can see it's too yellowish. Okay, now I'm back to this color. Not too much paint because you know that I need to uh, be sure about the drawing. As soon as I feel more confident about the position of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, I start just applying more paint. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes, trying to see everything. I'm trying to see a triangle here, this angle here, okay, this shape, this shape. I'm gonna add this a little bit of glycerin crimson. Okay. Now I'm going to add the hair. Okay. Hello, Dilly Pen. Christine, uh, when I use a linseed oil, uh, but to be honest, mostly, I mean, most of the time I don't use a solvent. I just use 90% of the time I use just pure paint. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know exactly why, but sometimes I just feel like I just want to feel the paint more fluid at least for this first layer, okay? But I don't have, to be honest, any particular reason. If I, okay, if I can try to explain maybe for this first uh, brush strokes, that would be because I'm painting with these uh, synthetic brushes. And that's gonna be if I use pure paint that's gonna be like a scratching and I don't wanna kill these brushes. I used to do that, this with this. I don't know if you remember the sound. It's, it's, I, I guess it's, it's because of this hair is so strong and I spread the paint without any solvent. But with these brushes, I prefer to use a little bit of, of medium. It's not like a general rule. I just do that sometimes. OK. 
Okay, I'm squinting my eyes again. I'm trying to draw this shape. Okay. You can see that something, you can see something is not okay here. It's gonna be there, a little bit up. Okay. Okay, I can tell right now that the width is different. Okay, it looks a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, now for the hair is the same. What I see a triangle here. It's easy to see that this triangle is smaller than what you see here. Let me sound to make it a little bigger. Okay, it looks better. I try to keep always an order in my palette. I try, I mean, it's, sometimes it's not possible but from light to dark. Okay, I mean, the lightest color is gonna be close to white, darker, close to black. And I try to use a lot of brushes. One brush for one color. This for this color, this for this color, and this one is for this color. Okay, in this way I can come back here, make a retouch, and I'm not uh, waste time cleaning out the brush and all of that. And I keep, uh, as much as I can, I keep the color clean. I'm squinting my eyes again and trying to see just the eyes like like uh, black dots, something like this. Something like this. Now I'm going to use these two synthetic brushes, number zero. I'm adding just a little bit of white and I'll try to paint this clearer to see a little bit more of this eye. that. Now with this one, I'm going to pick up this color and add a little bit of red and the same. I'm going to go think the same like a triangle here for drawing this. For the wing of the nose, I'm tracing a light to this to the tear duct here. Okay, something is not okay. It is okay. Now the mouth. Okay, I'm trying to see this this space. That helps me a lot. I paint this. And I try to see this space without watching the nose, this space. Surely that helps me with the the high of the nose. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Squint my eyes again. And if uh, you squint your eyes so hard, you're going to see just one black dot, one black dot, and the mouth. That's mostly what you're going to see. Yes, this, this, a little bit of this, and the mouth here. And now I'm going to add another brush, all the reddish parts of the face. Okay. In a minute, I mean, I was looking for a specific brush, and this one, I mean, I let it dry without cleaning up the brush yesterday. And I gotta just separate this one. Can I use this one? Okay, it's gonna be red. This one to be red. Always the upper and lo lower eyelid, the nose, the cheeks. And the chain. Okay, I'm gonna mix. I'm mixing this. This is gonna be a lighter, uh, a pinky color, which is uh, is very close to this because it's I'm trying to make to have the same value, and I'm gonna do the same here. You see, red is uh, let's say that it's gonna dark this color. And then to adjust it to the same value, I add a little bit of white or a little bit of yellow ochre. It depends. If you see the white is cooling down the color too much, then you add a little bit of yellow ochre. I don't feel that red. I need to add more red. I'm not gonna light up this color because I think I need Need this to be more darker. Hello, everyone. Okay, now the, the mouth. I'm mixing and adding more coming red and a little bit of Alisa and Crimson. Okay, I need to paint this. Uh, side of the mouth, okay. And just tracing a line from here up to the wind of the nose to the tear duck. It's going to be around here. Use this pink and let's paint. Let's paint the light here. Okay. I'm going to blend everything a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, it's keeping my eyes, trying to see when I'm going to kind of erase this here. Oh, hello, Liliana, could you raise my question? Question? Yes, I haven't seen your question. Oh, sorry. Let me get go back in there. Oh, okay, I can find your question. Okay, hello, Martin. Delina, do you mean in, in Messenger? Okay, I will check out my Messenger, okay? As soon as I finish uh, the painting. Okay, now again, I see something now. I mean, uh, you can tell that it's no, it's no hair yet. But it's something that I can just fix, move a little bit something, a little bit to the right, to the left. This is like, I don't know, throw, throwing uh, things on a table. And now I'm going to put those things in order. At least I'm going to try. <laughs> OK, now the eyes. Uh, one thing that i got to be sure, I mean, if the eyes are, are lined up. OK, the nose, the mouth, all is following the same uh, horizontal line. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to draw this eye. In my eyes, trying to see just this portion here. This. Other I I mean I think this one I gotta move this one a little bit to the left. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes and trying to just see this. Yes, I gotta move it just a little bit to the left. You see how she has this here so clear like this, 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 something like that. Now the nose. 
first this. I try to see this always. Now the mouth. <laughs> okay. I gotta reduce this. You can see from, from here to the middle to up, kind of very close a little bit, but down, it's not. Now again, I go with the sclera. I go usually like that. I mean, from the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the chin. I go up again, again, and again, and again, until I'm one point that I'm still just jumping all around because I need to fix this, this, this here and here. And at that point, I, I cannot keep an order anymore. I just fix here and there. I think she has blue eyes. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, for here it's gonna be just fixing and fixing more. Now I can, I can apply more paint. Yes, I mean, usually in, in the, the lights. I mean, I'm not gonna use more medium. Okay. 
I'm taking my, my time because, I mean, this is too light and too yellow. Okay, I think that's going to be okay here. Now it's going to be the same. I'm following like I was drawing, following the lights. I'm not worried about anything more than just trying to, at the same time, that get the va value. I mean, not the color, the value. And drawing, I'm still drawing with paint. Okay. Something really clear here that usually uh, uh, we we do uh, always we have to do always in purpose is this section. Okay, you see the color here. It should be a little bit grayer than the color of the nose because that's the only way to make the nose pop up because the temp the color temperature. I mean, both are warm colors. Because this has some, uh, they say that this kind of a warm, neutral warm, no warmer, warmer color, but the nose is a little bit warmer than this. Okay. Okay, and add more color. I think it's too pale. Let's see. Okay, I think that's better. Oh, Michael, hello, Monique. Hello, Michael, how long does it take for the painting to dry? It depends. I mean, some of them, uh, I applied uh, more paint and it takes like a, a week sometimes. Have, have you seen this series? I have this like a 35 minutes practice painting. Those paintings, I, I usually apply more paint and it takes a week. The last one, uh, the last one I did, uh, because I uh, at the end I applied that just light brush stroke. Here yeah, it took uh, it took more than than a week. But this painting that I don't just I don't apply too much paint. Usually it dries three days. Okay, I think that's too much. Anyway, that's too much, right? Let's blend this. And one thing that uh, when I'm planning to blend a lot of painting, I can go with more color, more chroma like this, because usually when we blend, uh, we kill that color we kill the saturation and when I try just to when I'm just trying to put the brush stroke and just leave it there uh, when that happens uh, I usually spend more time mixing the colors because I'm trying to be more precise in this case I'm counting on blending and counting on counting on mixing the paint in here you can see how it gets mixed here. The more I blend and mix the painting here, I'm starting to, lo to lose that saturation.
I don't like this color right now, but just the beginning. You know that from the beginning to the end, uh, there's a lot of changes. We, we correct the drawing, we change the color. We go adjusting here and there until we get close to what we want or if we have a plan to what we have planned previously. Right now, I mean, my major concern is to get the likeness because she has something special on her eyes. I mean, on her eyes is like er everything about her. Yes, uh, that's, that's for sure is difficult. And she has some sweetness in the way, the way that she looks at you. Uh, that means that I'm going to be around the eyes again and again, again and again. During the whole process, adjusting the eyes, moving the eyes a little bit to the left, to the right, until I find the right position. Okay. I feel that the overall shape is okay, but I can see that... Uh, it looks fat here than here. And it could be because of the shadow or uh, maybe I need just to cut more here. I mean, usually uh, when I face some mistakes, I see something, I prefer to first check out the values because because of the values we can think doesn't the, 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 the width or the height is different and sometimes it's okay. That's usually that I do. I mean, I see something like this. I don't go and reduce this. I just think about values here first. Okay, because but why is that? Because I'm squinting my eyes and I'm just trying to see this half of the face, the shape here. It's kind of the same. Um, probably, obviously, it's ninety percent probably that I'm making a mistake. And um, I feel like that's the same. That, that makes me think that first I'm going to adjust the value here. I'm going to make this darker, more lighter here to create more volume. And then if that's not working, I'm just going to reduce this. Yeah. That's what I usually follow. I mean, we, we follow different things, yes? So usually I do that because... Uh, I remember all the time that somebody, uh, a long time ago, let's say, when somebody pointed out a mistake on my painting, I was just, went so fast to fix that. And to be honest, uh, I learned to stop doing that. It's not, not my, my, first, my first option anymore. I just stop, and I think, and the first thing, the first thing I do is check values. Okay, so obviously sometimes somebody tell me, okay, this is a mistake here, and that's so clear that it's like, uh, it's, ju it's just like somebody just hit hit me in, my, in the face and say, oh my god, that's right. In that case, in that case, I I correct the mistake just right away. Okay, I'm trying to control this light. If I add more of, of a warmer light, something like this, more ochre and white, this is gonna come forward more than the nose, okay? I'm 
I need light here. I'm trying just to control how warm is going to be this light. If I need to go warmer, that means that I, I, I need to adjust the nose. I, I, go, I need to go more warmer with, with the nose. I'm trying to mix a greenish, not a greenish color, but I mean, uh, if, if we want to this portion of the face look more reddish and this more reddish from here to here, it should be more grayer, more greenish, or just a little bit grayer than the skin tone. But we can we cannot go all red, okay? It's up to us if I go with more green, with more gray. Just remember, I always, uh, and remember the effect of what happens with colors. I mean, it's not just what you mixed on the palette. It's how the color looks on the painting. Like when, when I mix, uh, I just love to do this. I used to do this black and white. Just black and white. Okay. It looks it looks so bluish on, on this on the screen. Okay, the, the, the idea is this color, you can add this color. Okay. It's gonna work really okay, grain down any part. Sometimes I add just so just green. You can do this a little bit, just a little bit, okay. And then you adjust. I mean, it's not gonna be okay the first time that you apply it. It's, it's, there is not a, like something that you apply. You say, "Oh my God, that's an amazing no. There's nothing like that doesn't exist. You gonna apply it. And apply it and adjust it and adjust it and adjust it again and again.
I apply it here. I don't like that. I'm going to top of that with a darker color. I don't like that either. This gray there. Hello, Carlton.
Michael, oh, yes, Michael, I love to paint portraits. Uh, I think I love uh, the challenge because, you know, that's difficult. Sometimes I'm, I'm sweating here. <laughs> I'm suffering here. Sometimes I enjoy it. And sometimes it's just so difficult. And no matter how many portraits uh, we paint in our life, I mean, each portrait is going to be a challenge. Always. And uh, painting in general, this painting in general is for we, uh, for we all is always amazing. I mean, for me, this two, three hours painting, I'm just out of this world. I don't like those, don't like those blues that I apply it. Uh, I'm gonna change them. This is too dark. I don't like that dark. I'm gonna leave it there for 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 a while. For a while, I need to. That's gonna help me to check the drawing aspect of the painting again and again. Okay, let's go with uh, the nose. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this eye. Okay, now the nose.
try to keep it to keep this reddish warmer. Okay. I'm changing the mixture because I'm adjusting a little bit more lighter, a little bit more darker, a little bit more reddish, less reddish, less yellowish. I see this is not okay. I go again with more paint on top of this and adjust everything again. For example, this shadow, that's too dark. Yeah? I'm gonna blend it. And if it's still dark, I just have to put more paint on top of that. Okay. Monique, uh, yes, yes, you're right, Monique. Every painting has a different challenge. But portrait is always because I I really I mean I enjoy the challenge of painting a portrait. I enjoy just that take me out of this world that much because I have to be concentrated in this. When I paint a still life, I can say that it's a little bit more relaxing, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Not, it's not like, yeah, because you always have to be thinking of rules, color theory rules and all of that. Yes. Because uh, for me, as, as soon as I just stop thinking about color theory and all of that, I mean, I can see that, that in my painting. I can see the, that I just, uh, it's like, a, and it's trying to lose control about the color, the color mixtures, and all of that. I have to be aware. Like when I paint this simple thing, I have to be aware that this should be no warmer than this. Okay? Something that simple. Yes. And... and Everywhere is kind of a little bit of that. And then when you go with the highlights, you're gonna decide if the highlights are cooler or warmer. Uh, when I don't want to think too much about this, I just go always with warmer lights because uh, usually I'm so worried about something else, like obviously mostly it's about the likeness. When I feel that uh, the light, I'm getting the likeness, I'm going to start feeling more relaxed and I think even I'm applying more colors, uh, playing with more temperature and all of that. Or even exaggerate maybe the chroma in general of the portrait, the portrait in general, or gray down the color. Shodari is asking me when do you knew that you when do you know that you want to take painting as a career? Okay, uh, okay, I'm uh, 
let me remember. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, that, that was too, too, too long ago. And okay, let me think. I mean, Kind of difficult to say. I mean, when when uh, I assume when I started making some money with paintings, but before that, I mean, it's just like uh, enjoying so much doing something. Just because this is not like a, not a career that I don't know, being a, a lawyer or a doctor or something like that. I mean, it's like studying art is half uh, be worried about. Uh, the subjects and enjoying just the process of painting. And sometimes it's more about enjoying what you're doing than even feeling that you're really studying really hard for something. That's, yes, it's not like, it's not something like that. I mean, I'm not saying that uh, the art career is kind of. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that no, no heart. I think I'm saying that. Yes, yes. Our career is no heart, no heart at all. <laughs> I mean, uh, but we have to study. I mean, it's not just about you know that. Uh, I remember uh, when I was a student, I, I, I have. Uh, anatomy course and perspective uh, course and anatomy, perspective, color theory, all of that. We have to study all of that. And, and the only thing that is different that is the study about, about that, about color theory, about color harmony, because color theory about mixing the colors is something that you can just learn maybe in a month. Yes, but color harmony, that's something that could take you could take you years. And and it doesn't matter how much do you practice, how much you practice, it doesn't matter how much you practice. I don't know why. I mean you practice a lot and you still feel that you don't master that color harmony. I don't know why, I mean. It's like it's like I remember when I, when I was a student, I mean, a regular student in school, primary school. And sometimes uh, I remember I have a test and I read uh, the subject, let's say a page. I was reading the page for maybe 20 times and think I memorized everything. But when you draw or paint, it's different. You can paint the same subject like 100 times. It's going to be a challenge every time. Okay, choosing a little bit more uh, yellow ochre here. I like, I, I like, I like this. Okay, I'm going to choose this for the nose, obviously, to make and for the highlights here, maybe here. Here. And I'm going to go a little bit more warmer. Here around the highlight. A little bit of red. I'm going to keep uh, this, this pinky color that I played. When with a yellow with version because every time that you add red and and white and go to the pink side, the pink is kind of is going to the cool side. It's not cool. I mean, in this case, not. But it's, let's say it's going a little bit, and yellow is going to the warmer side. But it's not like uh, completely. I mean, this 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 things about color temperature in the portrait. It's just really subtlety, subtle subtleties that, and we, sometimes we don't choose even to do that. 
and you don't choose to paint following color temperature and all of that, but you gotta be very accurate with values. If you're accurate, accurate with values, you don't follow any rule about temperature, you're gonna have a really great painting anyway. Okay, you're gonna go back to the eyes again, or oh, the mouth. Oh, did you draw a lot? Oh, oh, when I was a child, yes, I mean, I used to draw all the time. Like, all the time, all the time, I was just drawing. I remember my mom used to tell me, what are you doing? I'm drawing, what? Get the hell out of here, go to the street. I said, why? You gotta play with your friends. I don't want that. God, get the hell out of here. <laughs> she threw me to the street. Go play soccer. Go do the, the drawing here. What are you, 40? <laughs> and I was 14, 13. I was a, I was a teenager. And I was drawing, drawing. And then my mom was out drawing, uh, playing, playing soccer all day. And then and drawing at, at night. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> okay. Oh, Monique. Yes, my wife, she's a painter too. Yes. And my daughter, my daughter, she just draw all day long. She's drawing and drawing. And now because of the lockdowns and all of this, she's just drawing all day. And uh, I mean, I said to myself, okay, I, I sometimes I, talk, I, I tell her, oh, I mean, go look for your friends. I don't know. I mean, go out with a mask. I don't know. And then my wife says, no, she's not going to go out. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay. Continue drawing. And my daughter is drawing, drawing, drawing all day long. And mostly illustrations. She has an Instagram account. She has a YouTube channel. But I don't know anything about that because she's like, oh, show me your, I, I, told, I used to tell her, I told her, show me your Instagram account. No, why? <laughs> no, that's private. And I said, oh my God, that's, that's not private for your friends. No, nope, you're not my friend. You're my dad. You cannot see that. Okay, okay. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't know if he's her Instagram account or her YouTube channel. And she has opened an account. I mean, she keeps all private. And she's like, oh, I want to buy a scanner. I say, I mean, yeah, I mean, how much is that? Uh, it's like two hundred dollars. Oh my God! I don't have two hundred dollars. I don't ask you for. I don't ask you. I'm not asking you for money. I have the money. I just made a commission. She told me last like a week ago. Uh, no, a month ago. Um, I made a commission and I gained uh, 
200 dollars. And I said, oh my God, is that for real? Yes, I'm gonna buy my scanner to scan my watercolors. And I said, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sounds like your daughter, Monique, yes. Yeah, they don't want to show anything. And then my son is the same. My son is 14. And he's like growing like an hour a day. Because now, 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 because of the pandemic, he's growing a little bit more. Like before that, he was just playing, playing in the computer, playing in the computer. And yes, and from time to time, asking me for money to go out with his friends. But now he's trying to draw more. And I said, oh my God. No, I mean, okay. And I told uh, my son, okay, you gotta learn, learn a little bit of English because, I mean, maybe you can imitate because he has uh, my uh, my my same uh, voice for saying. When somebody, if you, if you call me someday, let's say you call me someday, and my son pick up the phone. You're gonna think I'm, I'm, I'm the one that is speaking. If he's 14, I mean, his voice already changed. And he's like, all the time, uh, people say, oh, hey, Renzo, no, 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 it's not. And his son, oh my God, your voice is so, I mean. And I said, okay. And I told, told him the last, the, uh, about a week ago, practice me and study English. And uh, I mean, I, I leave you the channel. I don't want your channel. <laughs> The chatting is boring. I said, what? How, how do you mean it's boring? No, I don't want to draw portraits. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, I mean, you can draw wind. I mean, anything. You can put it there. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like this green here. I need more shadow here. Uh, Monique, which she should let you use. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, that's the color is better. This is too green yet. Okay, I'm gonna add. I mean, I don't wanna just be just with one, one color. I need to add this green. All right, first option I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this green color here. Okay, okay, I need a little bit of blue because that green doesn't look green at all. <laughs> yes, I mean, your daughter should let you use the scanner. Oh, oh, I don't need the scanner. I mean, she she bought 
the scanner for for herself uh, just to scan uh, her drawings she scanned her drawings and then she retouched the drawing and her uh, uh, tablet in her tablet and then she published in, in, uh, in her Instagram account well, and then I remember I told her I mean uh, she doesn't use that much uh, Facebook no uh, she uses more she uses more Twitter you know I have like 150 followers in Twitter and it took me a long time to get that followers, which is for me this 150 people is it's okay. And she was in three months from zero to three thousand followers in Twitter. <laughs> is it what? But I mean that's what she told me. She never showed me. I'm gonna go with this green here. Cause let's see if I can keep this. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know I can, I'm not gonna keep this, but anyway, I'm gonna add some gray here. And there's always a kind of a, a gap, let's say a gap here of green. You can see a slide, it's really subtle, really subtle here on green. Okay, uh, Going to blend the face a little bit. Let's blend. Okay. 
You want to go back to the eyes? Thank mm-hmm. you.
<clears throat> okay, I don't like that much the color. I think it's kind of uh, looks like a door, uh, kind of uh, plastic. I'm gonna add a little bit of the gray down in this part a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, this works the mouth. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got a mistake here. No? The width of the face. She has like a shadow here eh? on the wall. All oh, this is the shadow, I think.
Mm-hmm. Oh, you scanned your paintings. Okay. Uh, Monique, are you the, there? Uh, that's, that's better, this kind of painting than taking a photo, than taking a picture with your cell phone, or well, thank you, Michael, thank you, okay, yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, right now I kind of uh, start adjusting here and there.
Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm squinting my eyes, trying to see, compare. I need, I need some more light. Uh, you know, I don't want to get to this uh, light, like the, the photographics too white. And you can see clearly her wrinkles here. I don't want to do that because uh, I was afraid to make people older. And that's kind of easy when you get into details and more details. More details and then... Mm. Let's see, uh, I need to dark this part of the sclera. That's too bright to be, uh, let's say, not in shadow, but let's say in shadow. Okay. Okay, since I'm not speaking at all, Maybe I can continue telling you the story of when I went to New York. About 18 years ago, I was, I was just telling that story yesterday. Okay, now everything is starting because somebody uh, yesterday asked me uh, how I started to study English. And I started to, to tell that uh, I learned, I started to say to learn English when I went, I, uh, I was in New York. It was, I just, I, 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 I lived there for just one year, okay? But mostly I learned English by speaking with a guy, a photographer, he was my friend. I remember when I, I, I started working on this art gallery painting this canvases that I, I have to, I mean, imagine this is a canvas, but bigger, like 50 by 60 inches. No, 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 40 by, 60 inches, and then you have a poster in the middle, and you just paint like something like this, like six or eight inches. You continue the poster just to the four sides, to the up, the up, up, top, bottom, to the left, to the right. And that was my work for two months. It was from eight at the morning, no, no, nine, eight a.m. to 4 p.m. That was really nice. And I can say that the, uh, there was a group of Russian painters, Chinese painters, and Latin painters. Between Latin painters, we were make, I mean, they were uh, two from Peru, uh, like from Ecuador, two from Ecuador, then the rest from Mexico, mostly from Mexico. But something that, uh, I mean, I impressed me at that time uh, a lot, it was the Russian painters. Yes, we were separated just like small spaces in just one big place. And they were something really amazing about the color. I mean, the way they, they paint, even in those simple paintings that when you paint the border, you can see how they uh, were able to manage the color in a different way. Looks like they had 
different paintings. <laughs> and we all have the same paintings because uh, we, I mean, there are some like gallons of paintings, all the all colors. And you just pick from them, from those gallons or buckets. Just to pick up the painting from, from those back, uh, buckets and just paint. And I remember that. I remember especially a Chinese guy. The, he was just sit almost really close to me, next to me, to my right. And he was maybe the faster painting that I have I have ever met in my life. And uh, usually sometimes uh, the owner of the gallery get inside uh, to the atelier, they say to the inside the gallery, to the part where, where the, the painters just was their painting. Uh, and he was di directed to this Chinese painting painter and I shouldn't say that like that. Yes, Chinese, no. This painter from, from China. Okay. And and he used to make a painting in a couple, two or three hours. Not a portrait, I mean, like a full painting, a bigger, like twice this. That was amazing. I mean, this guy he was just like, and he was always just laughing, speaking out loud and painting. Looks like he was even not thinking about what he was doing, just was something maybe so mechanic for, for him. Nice. And we never spoke because this guy, he didn't speak too much English, me neither. I don't speak Chinese, he didn't speak Spanish and then But well, that was really amazing. Okay. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know if he was from China. I mean, we assume, yes, if when you say Latin people, Latin people are, we are for everywhere, yes, Peru, Argentina, I mean, that lot of countries. But we just general, generalize, say, Latin people. That's the same when we say Chinese people. I mean, they are from different countries. But remember, <laughs> there was a woman that's from China, I, I assume. And she became my, my friend. And she she used to tell me uh, the first time, where are you from? I'm from Peru. Oh, okay. Oh, you're from Mexico. Oh, say, uh, sorry, say, uh, I'm from Peru. Oh, okay, okay, Peru. Okay, what part of Mexico is Peru? Oh, this is another country. And she, I mean, at the end, I think, I think that she needed, she didn't understood that Peru was another country. You know, for, I mean, for her, I mean, she was from China, she's from China, she was from China, yes, and I mean, she's still from China, yes, of course, and it was like, all the Latin people that she have ever met uh, were from Mexico, it's Mexico. The last thing I knew about this gallery, art gallery, that they moved the the gallery to Brooklyn, I think, in 2008 because of the economic crisis. And after that, a couple of years later, they closed.
going to add a little bit of the sprinkles, not too much. And I don't want her to look older. Okay, I think that's too much. I'm gonna soften this. I dark I uh, I darken this uh, part portion of this clear. Now that I see it's too dark, I'm gonna light up this a little bit.
Okay, I think I'm getting close to the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a screenshot, capture the screen, and to see in Photoshop is everything is okay. That will be the same like as using a, a mirror. This is even better to use a mirror because usually what I do is uh, I reverse the image. Okay. And then uh, take out the color. It looks older in my painting, yeah? Uh, what I do is I exaggerate the contrast and put the image really dark, 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 and yeah, compare both the painting and the, and the photograph. And I see if I'm doing okay with the light. Yes, it feels like I'm doing okay. Okay, now, now that I, uh, I do that, it's like a squint in my eyes, which obviously is, is much better than a squint in the eyes. I can see that uh, the lightest light is here. And the second lightest light is here. And then the tip of the nose. And then here, to here, and here. Okay, that's it. A little bit, just not too much pain. Just here. Okay. I mean, this could be impossible. Or impossible to see. It's just it's squint. It's squint in my eyes. I mean, that's. Not possible. Okay, I think I got some of her expression. Mm, maybe uh, I've already reduced her upper lip a little bit. Maybe, maybe. Now I'm going to blend this highlight. I think it's okay. Mm. I'm gonna add some more highlights to the hair. She has kind of a orangey, I mean, 
Nord, no, you know, I mean the highlights. Oh, I need to make a little bigger this lower lip, a little thicker. Oh, thank you, Steve. Dita, oh, you have tried the triangles. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, practice. Yeah, we practice. And this thing about uh, it's not. It's not just triangles. It's, it's, it's just thinking about any. Just simplify. 
thinking about just any geometrical shape that you can move from here to here. And usually a triangle in the middle is something really common. A lot of people use the triangle here because that's easy to see, to calculate the, the, the height and the width. Yes, uh, I'm not saying that it's going to be exact, but it's easy to try to, to copy once we imagine here, like here in the overall shape. You can see here a triangle too. It does, if you copy this triangle, you, you can get close, uh, which is going to be different if you go directly to draw what you see, to draw just the eyes, nose, and mouth. And this, this triangle or, or a simple shape is more like a structure. Yes, it's like a, it's like a skeleton, for saying in some way. And the skeleton is going to keep the eyes and the nose and the mouth in, let's say, in a really closer position to comparing to the image. Yes. And then, uh, and then, I mean, uh, that's not going to be enough. Yes, it's, I mean, it's always practicing, it's comparing a lot. When I'm painting, from time to time, I move my eyes from the painting to the photo so fast, okay? So fast trying to kind of uh, overlap the images. That's impossible. But let's say in some way, trying to to trying to look for that's dif the differences between one and the other. Okay, and I do that. I always check in this triangle. I always squint in my eyes to check the lights and the shadows. And even that, uh, even doing that, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, there's no way, there's no way. I mean, I mean, that's what I think, yes. I mean, to be perfect, it's going to require, of course, to let the painting dry and go over again so many times until you, you fix it. But in La Prima painting, we all have limitation. I mean, it does, it's not about portrait, everything. A landscape of everything is gonna be always the time limitation. Yes. But the most important is that we're painting. That's the thing, painting, just painting. The more you paint, the better you get. Just the, the process is just it's really slow it's of improving. But we improve always. We always improve. The good thing about this, about painting, is it just takes practice and practices. Repetition and repetition and repetition. Repeat again and again. I'm adding a little bit more of dark here. I want to see if this contrast is going to be better for the painting or maybe not. No, I'm adding a little bit of black, but I'm mixing with this color here. That means it's not it's not yet a crispy, crispy black. That's why I'm going up and down, just mixing. Here it's a little bit darker, but which is gonna be different if you take a lot of paint and you go like this. I you don't you cannot see the difference. I mean I see here the difference between these last brush strokes and around that is different. But I know I'm watching the screen and I don't see any difference. Anyway, I mean, oh, thank you, Monique. 
Thank you, Lilian. Hello, Grisalida. Dita. Okay, you, you already paint portraits, make lines in my head, but also. Okay, okay. Okay, I understand now. I didn't understand. Okay, yes. I mean, this is something that you have to add. I mean, for me, I always check in all the methods. One method that I would like to recheck again is the Rayleigh method. Uh, to be honest, I get bored when I I just I start to face in so many lines. So uh, I know that I have to practice that method because this is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's a good structure, all those lines.
Okay. I'm looking everywhere, squinting my eyes and trying to check out volume, values, everything. Okay, now I see this uh, greenish color here. I forgot about the color. I'm gonna play a little bit of this. Great. Okay, the same value, okay, just to change that a little bit. Whoa, that was too much. Great. Now I'm going to clean this. Yes, that's okay. A little bit of red here, a little bit. And I think I have to soften this. Maybe more, maybe more. Adjusting, adjusting here and there. One thing that I'll be watching is uh, this part of the neck should be darker. Even more darker. Uh, 
as a shadow here. Okay, that's her nose. And a light, a little bit of reflection here. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking that this is not a hair. Yeah? The hair end up here. I uh, see the image here in the computer. It's more clear. This, this is shadow. This brush is number two. That's the same that I use for blending. This is new. This, this has long hair, which is make it perfect for things like this. And it's really pointy. Okay, I think that's it.
Okay, that's it. Oh, that's it, I think. Okay, thank you, Steve. Good night, Dita. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Mervat. Okay, that's it. I mean, uh, I don't know what else to do. I'm just going around, uh, just hoping to to see something just from, just by watching and watching. But sometimes I'm doing just little things that maybe I don't need to do, but just waiting. Waiting does to discover something that could need yeah, that, to fix, to improve, to improve. Highlight a value. Oh, right now I see this. That's too much. Can you see this? That's too much. That's too much. I have to settle this. And here too. Things like this, just like kind of waiting to discover those things. I think this is part of her expression. A little bit of light here. You see so clear this wrinkles there, there are like three. I'm uh, afraid to make them. Sometimes we go to we just go too much with this. It's gonna make it things just so subtle. Okay, that's it. I don't touch it anymore. I don't touch anything more. Nothing more. Maybe a little bit here. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Okay. Okay, okay. That's it. That's it. See you next time. Bye. Take care.